Oh, lovely to meet you both. You too. Uh, fantastic you. set today. Thank you. Uh, really takes us back to the 80s, you know, with those great hits yes. that we heard you play today. Yes. Um, so going back, so you formed in 85, didn't you? 1985. We did, we did. We yes, did. in 85. We could trace the lineage back even further, couldn't we? We can, yeah. <laughs> so were you childhood friends then before we were. then? Yeah. 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 And Nine years old, so that would have been. 64 plus 9 is 73, so probably 1973, 74 we met, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so that's a 70s, so I suppose you're not interested. <laughs> no, 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 not no, we're from the 70s, are we okay? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, we, we cross all decades. <laughs> <laughs> and you did busking, didn't you, in Dublin? We did. Uh, the incomparable Benzini Brothers. That's, that's right. right, yeah. yeah. So, is that how you started performing sort of to it's, the public? It's not actually. It's a lot of people think that we, you know, oh, they grew out of busking because it sort of seems like the, the, yeah. the fairy tale of starting on the streets and then taking to the concert halls. But yeah. actually, we started doing gigs first and oh, right. in, in clubs and places, the gigs that we'd organise. And then the summer came and we said, we'd go play in the street. So you set your own so band we, up and so just sort of went out We gigging. created this other friend of ours came up with the name the incomparable Benzini yeah. brothers. <laughs> I, oh, I said name. the Benzine brothers oh, yes. and, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. and then he said that it should be the Benzini brothers. Yes. Right. I right. used the name for a for a for a talent competition Trinity Ball and and I called it the Benzine brothers and he said it should be the Benzini brothers so then when we decided to go out we put the I at the end right. to give it, it that Italian circus. Mediterranean. Circus. Yeah. yeah, that's sort of great. It's got a great ring to it. But also, I have to pay the rent, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. and gigs where, like, gigs, you fill a place, but you're not making really money. So, no. But you make money on the street. You, yeah. It's yeah. good money. And yeah, it's I clean. It's I was living in a flat, so I had to pay yeah, rent. Yeah, to meet. Pay the rent. That's amazing, and you were spotted by Bono, actually, weren't you? He saw us in a nightclub, I think, playing. Oh, did he? Night, yeah, yeah, we used to do this gig in a, in a nightclub yeah. in Dublin, and we were. It was a very improvised gig, and it was yeah. full of dance yeah. energy, and and right. yeah, and I think he related to that, and then I think he yeah. also heard a song that we played today called "Love Don't Work This Way." Yeah. He'd heard an early demo version of that, and it just captured his. Yeah. His interest, yeah. and they just, he, he then came along, and they had a U2 at a label that gave yeah. bands the opportunity to make one single, yeah, and yeah. put it out into the world. And he gave us that, that opportunity as a result oh, of that. That's amazing. So, do you ever see Bono? I mean, do you still keep in touch? Occasionally, with him? here yeah. and there, yeah. Yeah, because he, I mean, he lives in Ireland, doesn't he? We're in the he? same town. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. oh, that's great. Isn't it? 80s. Do you look back with a lot of fond memories of those times, and uh, what are some of? The, if you thought back, what are some of the highlights? The busking. Yeah. That time yeah. was, was because we were playing everywhere in town. Mm. So it was like being in New Orleans or something. It was. Oh, wow, yeah. And you'd, there'd be a band playing here, I'd get up and sing with them. There'd be someone else would be feeding myself, we'd get up and feed them, we'd play yeah. anything. Mm. Yeah. We'd play anything. There was a lot, there's a lot of music everywhere, actually. If you look yeah. everywhere in the world, there's lots of music. Yeah. And Dublin, Ireland is no, no exception. No. There's a whole tradition of music, but then there's big jazz tradition in Dublin as well mm. so there's yeah. lots of jazz and blues everywhere oh, of course. Yeah, so if yeah, you're wandering so. around town you go into a bar and there's a blues playing you yeah. go up and sing and and suddenly you're knitting the city together and you feel like you're a part of the fabric of the city and that that's was right. that's a good feeling yeah definitely it's a really and good I feeling. think during the lockdown we realized that music was actually one way of sort of keeping sane during those times wasn't it and, and bonding people together despite people not being able to go out yeah they could still connect through music Music. Yeah. Um, were you doing any sort of live um, things during the lockdown? Loads, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I'd get my iPhone and I'd just press live and I'd yeah. play a few songs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I Random. bet you got some good feedback for that. Did? I did, yeah. 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 So it great. does keep people going, doesn't it, during the times? And uh, well, we did we did a flowers gig as a couple. We did, we did one in, yeah, we did a gig in a, a great club in Dublin called Whelan's. Oh, yes, and it's, yeah, it's still on YouTube actually, and it? and it was that was I hadn't done any yeah. kind of live things at home. Mm. I, I was I just didn't get around to it, but yeah. I was um I got to say I present radio programs, and right. in the course of doing that, there's people yeah. sending in messages and people at home on their own or whatever, yeah. and it really felt it was very palpable how important music had yeah. become. And it was, it, you know, there was a sense that people were listening with, the, the, the senses were kind of heightened in a way. Yeah. And that was kind yeah. of amazing to, to, yeah. to feel. Um, but then, yeah, we played in, in Whelan's. And in fact, I remember distinctly during the gig, because we had a screen in front of us and we knew there was several thousand people listening. But I remember really feeling quite emotional, actually, at one yeah. point during, I don't know what's it. We were playing Three Sisters, actually, a new song of ours. 
and I was just imagining loads of people tuned in yeah. uh, and they weren't there in front of me but they were yeah. in my imagination yeah. and that was a sort of powerful world. feeling yeah. 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 we hadn't played yeah. together and we were, yeah. you know, yeah. we were playing new songs as well and yeah, it's good to get together. Oh, it's good to be denied all this stuff because so many people in normal life are denied it anyway. Yeah, yeah. you know exactly. we're privileged in in this sort of European, whatever you want to call yeah. it. You know, yeah. yeah, we are very privileged. Whatever it's called, yeah, yeah, and it's and and you know so yeah, yeah. So we got a taste of something. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it does. And uh, going forward, are you sort of touring the rest of the UK now, or are you? Uh, we're hoping to next year. Yeah, oh, there's really? a tour. There's in May. We're going to be back in May for Fantastic. a UK tour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I will yeah. look forward to that. Yeah. And uh, any new music coming out? Um, oh, with any bit of luck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we yeah. We're the we're creative. Yes. And yeah. the juices yeah. are still flowing. And when we go on stage, yeah. there's something always. To, there's a little spark there that we chase. Yeah. 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 And, um, you can tell that it really brings the audience alive. You know, yeah. when, when you see, and it brings back all those memories. <laughs> Well, it's the memories, and it's also the fact if you if you do something without without it being over prepared, then nobody knows what's going to happen yeah. next, yeah. including the band. So everybody in the whole place is on the same wave. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, connected to what's going to happen next, yeah. and that's exciting. Somebody said something nice to me just before I came in to talk to you here, which was that he, he just said when we think about the gig that we just did is that we don't have to necessarily play the hits you know to, no. to, to make people happy yeah. because the music we're listening we're playing for each other and the music yeah. is yes. kind of good enough that the audience are connecting exactly. with, with it on that level yeah. that was a lovely thing to hear oh that you know? is a, yeah definitely I and agree then we played the big hit at the end that was positive yeah <laughs> But yeah, so, just 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 that yeah. the unfamiliar sounds or whatever are yeah. are kind of musical enough and strong that people are are, are tuning yeah, in, and that's a great in. thing. Yeah, and that positive energy is yeah. enjoyed. You know, yeah. it spreads, doesn't it? I think if a performer yeah. is feeling what he or she is doing, yeah, if they're feeling it, yeah, yeah then everyone will feel it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the thing. I mentioned here that you appeared in Lovejoy. Oh yeah, <laughs> we don't talk about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know we do. We do. We do. <laughs> We I talk a little bit about it in hushed tones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going back a few years. Eh? It's going back fun. a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet. Yeah. We've uh, uh, McShane, uh, Ian McShane. Ian McShane, yeah. Yes, that Dudley was great. Sutton became and a pal, Dudley, actually. Yeah. Really? The late, yeah. late great Dudley yeah. Sutton is oh. no longer with us, sadly. But no, I was sadly, in touch. No. I was in touch with him not before, not long before he died. He was, and uh, and it was a lovely uh, thing to be in touch with him again at that moment. Yeah, you know? I can imagine. I was, yeah. yeah. It was. It was. The weather was a bit like this, and it was a week in uh, Great Dunmo around... Oh uh, yes, near where we're not far from there. Are you we're, from there? Yeah. Well, we're Hartford. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great, around there, so the, 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 the architecture, the landscape and the yeah. crew, the crew of Lovejoy was just, they were fabulous oh, people. Oh yeah, yeah, I bet. So it comes across, uh, the, yeah. you know, in the show. They, they just enjoy what they're doing. Yeah. And they, yeah every, the, run, it was a good ship. It was a really good yeah. ship. So, and we were outdoors most of the time. I think we slept about an hour every night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I, we, had a, a we had fun. Great, great memory. Tasting. Then. We were tasting. Yeah. Tasting. <laughs> tasting. Oh, bet, yeah, tasting the, uh, the summer wine. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I've not tried the Dunmo variety, but oh, um, oh, it's, I'll, have to, oh, it's, I'll have to try that. It's flavoursome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, well, it's been a pleasure talking pleasure to you. Pleasure talking to you as well. And a uh, great show. Thank you. And we'll look out for the tour next next May. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. in May. Uh, yeah. We'll catch yeah. you. We'll Fantastic. Catch you on one of those. Great to meet you. Uh, lovely yeah. to meet you, you both yeah. as well. well. Give us a squeeze. <laughs> <laughs>